Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Remember you can find me on Instagram at the House of Langford and Overall Sews. I'm also on Ravelry as Mad X Stitcher and I also have a Facebook page under the House of Langford as well. Today I'm going to show you what lives in this unit. You may have seen it in either a September or October video for my monthly roundup. Um, as you can see it's kind of become a dumping ground. It was meant to be used just for crochet and knitting projects because it sits right next to my sofa which has also become a dumping ground and you can see that down the side here shamefully this is all yarn magazines projects needs a really good sort out really so we're going to start with the unit i've already seen one thing that i need to move that giant thimble up in the back over here I've got another one of these units for sewing. That's got my fabric scissors in it, so why it's here I don't know. It needs to go in the other trolley. So we're going to start bottom shelf and work our way up. Let's see exactly what I've got, things I might have forgotten about. I'm pretty sure there's three really pretty yarn bowls in there as well. Sorry Emily, they've all from, two of them are from Emily Cross Ceramics. They are beautiful, but apparently just sitting in this trolley, hiding. So let's get started, shall we? First off, there is a tube of metallic washi tape. Is it washi tape? It's just tape from Paper Chase. They had a sale because our local one closed and I just went and bought loads of random stuff. Doesn't need to be in there, does it? We've also got some pens they don't need to be there we've got a little sewing kit I think it's there because I meant to do it and all I need is a needle yeah there's no needle in it so all I need to do is grab a needle oh here's a needle one needle so I can stitch those up in an evening can't I I've got a half term now there's a to-do pile this one is actually a Slimming World food diary I couldn't even tell you what the date was on it because I don't use it. I really don't use it. I do like Slimming World, but I'm rubbish at tracking my food. I tried using my fitness pal and that didn't work either. I just eat loads of crap. Basically, I just need to eat better. Anyone else feel like that? It's clearly chocolate and cookies and ice cream and cake is just, and sweets. It tastes too nice. Why is that not good for you? Right, there are fat quarters in here. So again, these, this is an Audi pack. This needs to be in sewing trolley. Make a pile for the sewing trolley. Some more fat quarters. These are Big Bang Theory fat quarters. They're from, where are they from? Wool Warehouse. Just slung on the trolley. They can go on the other one. I've got some more fat quarters. I need to stop buying these. Tatty Teddy ones from Pro Hobbycraft. I was going to say Primark then. Ravenclaw iron on badge. A plique. I can't remember what I was going to do with that. I know I wanted it for me because apparently I'm Ravenclaw. So I need to find somewhere to put that. Might have to make myself a bag then. We have little mermaid fat quarters again from hobbycraft aladdin fat quarters let's just make a pile for fat quarters shall we there's this little cute crochet kit for these really sweet cacti this came with a magazine i didn't buy the magazine this was um i picked this up out of our freebie bin at the studio in brentwood I don't actually know if there's a pattern in here. So I'm going to have to find it. I don't even know what magazine it came from. Please help, send help. Let's make a half of that one. Actually, I'm going to put that with my little birdies because my little um, sewing kit. Because I can do that over half term as well. Let's find some, there's some more. No, they're not fat quarters. They are actually purses that I made up. Two Harry Potter ones. Although, I don't know what to do with them. They're notions pouches, really, for all your little gadgets and gizmos. and They're just really cute. 
but it's unlicensed fabric so I can't sell them so they become gifts or I just end up using all of them all myself right is there anything else we have a cone of top stitching thread for jeans I've never made a pair of jeans maybe I need to do the ginger jeans class with um, Charlotte Newland at Beautiful Things but I can't afford it I'm poor to be fair, that should be in the sewing trolley as well. Let's put that with the fat quarters. Right, one project bag. I made this one last year, maybe the year before. I think I started it ages ago and never actually finished it. In here there is a ball. I say ball, it's a cake. A cake of yarn, that's from Lolly's Little Wall Shack. Here is a crochet hook, size five. There are some candles tea lights these are actually the wedding day scent because i bought absolutely loads of them because they were cheap um for our wedding and still have loads left over so because they smell nice they're going into all my projects oh this is the honey cardigan by verity it truly hurts so that's what that's in there for that is all ready to go i think i probably need another cake though to do that but it's fine i've got loads of that cake so that one's project one ready bagged up to go i just need to find time to do it project bag number two this is a vivian bag from the so beautiful things sewing club run by claire mackiness it's got a drawstring and oh, my handles are twisted it's got a drawstring top and it has handles to hold it up when you're traveling with it and inside what have i actually put in here i've put in there extra of my wanderlust sheepies which came with my secret crochet club box it's the only one i ended up getting because she stopped doing them afterwards and this has got my dragon keeper gloves and leg warmers there's enough in here to make another set of gloves because there's a third ball there again i've got some of my candles to keep it smelling nice there are some really cool dragon eye buttons in here nice and sparkly there is a four and a half mil hook ready to work on and then I've got a matching purse but there's nothing in it let's just put the hook and those in there that's all that's in here yeah right, that all matches that keeps that separate and tidy so that is project number two I've also put a little there's a d-ring on the one side and I put my label on the other side so that's project two <sighs> and we haven't even cleared the bottom shelf yet there's a pack of baby wipes why oh that's a money pot Ooh. oh maybe i'm not poor after all i have to have a look see what's in there um what else have we got there's another fat quarter here christmasy one scandy oh <laughs> my between the lines shawl now this uses two what are these sheepies wells i can't remember what they are two sheepies cakes these are the cotton ones i won't show you the front i'll show you the... there we go this one now there's a knitted version and a crochet version this is the crochet version and i thought the colors in the actual one were a bit bland and I like bright colours, so I decided to use the Rosewater colourway and just the black and white. Which I think this was in licorice swell or black licorice. Um, so when they alternate, it will start to go nice and bright. But you can see I haven't actually got that far. Yeah. And it's enormous, this shawl, so I really need to crack on with it. There's a bit of fabric in here. I don't need that in there, do I? Do I? It's like a bin pile then. And there's two crochet hooks. Probably because I can't remember what size hook I used. One's a three and a half and one is a three. What does the pattern actually say? I think the pattern says three and a half. No, it says three. Maybe I did use a three then. I'll have to try that one again. 
I love these bags. These are actually meant to be pencil cases. And I got this one from either Home Bargains or... Yeah, Home Bargains. This is the orange one. There's all different colours. So that's Project Free. There's also these. Now my mum buys stuff like this for me because they're like a pound on Wish. But they're actually not not great pins some of them are blunt and they just i don't like the fabric so I need to find somewhere to put them what else is there? another pack of candles i don't know what that is clearly it was on a box of some sort because there's velcro on it but do you know what bin and then i have another cake of yarn now, I bought this when, I can't remember where we went. My husband and I went on holiday, just in the UK with, with my son. And I asked him to pick a ball of yarn. Must have been Clacton. I can't remember why we were in Clacton though. Um, and he picked a batik swell for me. Now, I love the colours. There's a bit of blue in there as well. But I don't know what to do with it. And the, what's the pattern on it? The pattern's just a granny shawl, granny stripe shawl. Right. So maybe I'll do that. There's enough yarn there. I've just finished one, so that would be really easy to to start another one. But I have a ball. I need a bag for it. I don't have yarn. A project bag for it. And I need a project for it. So that's that one. I now have an empty shelf. So, we're going to start on the next shelf. I can see already this is going to be a long video. Hope you've got a cup of tea or beverage with you. Or you can just turn me off if you're getting a bit bored. So, we've got some peel-offs. Why? I don't know. Where can I put that? Put that there. There's some more sticky stuff. We've got a bit of card. Some stickies. There's some Scrabble tile stickies and then there's two packs of stamps. I think these are because I started doing um, journaling last year and got about four months in and then just didn't didn't keep up with it. So I need to find a home. I've got a piece of wrapping paper. This is Paper Panda print with Bunny and Bird playing on a, what is it, a penny farthing? There's a bike, there's a unicycle. So it's all different bikes. Yeah, um, which is really cute. Obviously need a gift to put it in. What's this one? This is a pattern for a dragon scale collar. It's like um that picture's really poor quality, isn't it? Um I think it's just like a big wrap that you wrap around your neck. Yeah, I think the idea I was I was going to try and attach it to something, but I need some yarn for that as well. Let's put that to that side. That's a pattern, so we'll find yarn for that. These are all the left, all the extra gifts that I got in the advent this last year, 2019 advent calendar, from All War That Ends Well. I've got a pair of scissors on my table, which should be in here. So there's a pack of darning needles. There are some sparkly space-like buttons. There was a yarn cake cosy. I've got the label for that. There was a discount code to get the cat vent cow. So I'll have to have a look at that one. That's just the thing that says thank you. And then these are stitch markers with little Christmas trees, which are rather sweet. But it's not Christmas anymore, so I can go back in now. And I will. Oh! Maybe these zippy pouches will come in handy after all. That can go in there so I don't lose them. There's the cosy. There's my Christmassy cosy that can go in there as well. Oh, I've just spotted tape measure. Had to be a panda. That can go in there. There's also a Pikachu zippy purse thing. I think I buy too much on Wish. There's nothing in it, but. Put that in there for now then as well. Tidy up with a go. Zip that to one 
inside. I have a bag of threads. Now this is because I'm doing a cross stitch class, so I need to put that to one side because I'm going to need that next week or well, this week. We have a caked up ball of yarn in rainbow colours. Don't know why I've got that. An embroidery hoop again i need that for my embroidery lesson oh my god what is all this there's books here i've got a panda book well, i don't think there's anything in it nope there's nothing in it nice little notebook to keep notes in obviously these should be at, at school I need to go in my work bag. Some stickers. They go with the panda book. What is this? This is. That is a list of projects. That's what that is. I need to bin that though because I've got stuff on there from another job. I've got a book here that says project on the front, but it's empty. Clearly, I thought I was going to be really productive last year and start writing all my products projects down and just have them. So each of these tabs could be a different type of project. I? I could have crochet, I could have knitting, I could have sewing, I could have other crafts. Samples, maybe? Class samples? Let me know what you think I should be putting in there because clearly I don't have a clue if I haven't used it. But that was the other book. There's a pack of pencils. They're all falling. I can't do it, I'll do it later. Notebook from Craft Schmoots, Gemma. Love your notebooks, but apparently I have loads of them so they don't get used very often. And I think there's one in here. There is one in here, but I can't remember. That's the purple one. Oh, I have opened it. That's the purple space one. I think that one's still sealed because there's stickers in there as well. I did a video, like a, a review video of these. There's the stickers. So I'm not really sure why they're still sitting here, but I shall find somewhere to put them. I'll put them on my stationery stuff. There's a kit. My little mermaid kit. I don't know what magazine it is, so I don't know where the pattern is. I'm clearly rubbish at this. Not organisation is not my forte. Right, this has. I can fill a ball of yarn, but it feels like there's a pattern in there. Some of you made made this for me. I, I'm a member of a um an exchange group on Facebook. Right, this is really pretty. It's like autumn it's very autumnal to me anyway it's got blues purples pinks reds and i've caked it up ready to do this pattern garden shawl by anakin alice and i picked this up at the knitting Institution show i think ali pali not october last year the year before so that's all ready for that. And this is by Manos del Uruguay. So that cake is for that. And I think I've also put in the hook, the, it's not hooks, it's knitting needles. Yeah, I've got my knitting needles in there for it as well. So that's a little project all ready to go. Doesn't really fit in this bag, but the other bag that I got was too big. So that one is there. I'm going to go this way. I've got a little Care Bears bag, project bag. This is from Chevron Crafts. It came with a um, selection of minis related to, inspired by the Care Bears. And inside here, I have three skeins of yarn. I'm only going to show you one because they're all the same. Of this Wild War, fabric, um, Wild War yarn. It's like multicoloured speckles. I love it. It is called rainbow roly-poly 
bird, I think. Roly poly bird. It's superwash merino, DK, 100 grams. And it's got two different stitch markers with it as well. Let's see if I can get those in. So one is for knitting, one is for crochet. I've got three balls, of, three skeins of that. And I don't know what to do with it. So I've got 300 grams. Yeah. 300 grams. If you can find me a project that has 300 grams of DK yarn, please let me know in the comments because I would love to make that up. But I have no idea what to do it in. And I have so many scarves and shawls now. It needs to be something else because I'm getting fed up of making shawls and scarves. I want to make clothing, things that I can wear all the time. Even if I put a blank plain colour with it I'd be happy to do that I need to make something bigger some cord I'm pretty sure that's from the works that can go in my sewing stash as well because I can use that for things like drawstring bags um, there's a teeny tiny teeny tiny little sparkly ball um, of leftover yarn I made a giant pom pom with the rest of it and actually I'm just going to move this over for a bit. It can go in here. I have started to use this box. My nan bought me this box a few years ago for Christmas and it's just sat in my bedroom doing nothing. So I've started to fill it with random balls of yarn. So I can go in there. Because I wasn't really sure what else to do with them. So they are in there. I then have this yarn ball which is from Flying Tiger. It has a little ball of yarn here. I actually dyed this yarn and I believe that was, that can't be the sock yarn. Oh, that's what I dyed at Knitting and Stitching Show with um, Debbie, what's Debbie's surname? I can't remember, from the Lace Knittery. Um, me and Emma, my best friend Emma, dyed a skein of yarn each we both got covered in yellow dye, her more than me, um, but it was food colouring so it wasn't too bad. Um, so that is from that session. There's also some embroidery threads in here so I can take those with me to my session next week. This week, I keep saying next week, it's this week. And then there's a piece of fabric in here. Just because. So now I've got an empty yarn bowl. Um, because this can go in this one as well. So let's pop that one in there. Let's just keep that one on the floor. So I don't have to keep reaching over for it. Um, what can we put in this one? So I can, I don't know if that, my batik swirl won't fit in there. We'll find a home for that soon. There's one more yarn bow in here. This one is a monster. This one is one of Emily's and it is beautiful. It is like a, a mossy green faded with white glaze on top and it's got these really lovely 3d dragonflies and i love dragonflies but this is so tactile they feel really nice and inside is the yarn i got from toft as well as a couple of skeins that are undyed from our dyeing workshop with debbie so i need to find somewhere for those they can go in that little yarn bar for now um inside here i have a hook three mil hook i have two little balls of black yarn from Toft and one of the larger balls there's the other little ball and I have two of the cream now the idea was that I bought I believe I bought the book but I don't know where the book is I'll have to find that I think it's down there I don't know I've got the Toft book and the idea was that I was going to make Susie the panda, I think her name is, out of the black and the white, which is obviously just sat in the trolley. Let's put the white one back in. And I haven't done it. So that needs to be done as well. Because I've got project in a bowl ready to go and I haven't done it. Let's put that to one side for now. Got a piece of fabric. There's some scraps here as well. These are from my retreat bag. There's some pink ones as well. 
the retreat bag I made with the fabric from Let's Sew It. Um, the retreat bag is an Emma Lyons bag. And I think we're going to be teaching that at um, Beautiful Things as well, actually. It's a really nice project um, because when you open it up, it stays open like a yarn bowl. So it's perfect for yarny people. Um, so I've got scraps of that. I don't know what I was going to do with them. I like to use them to make um, the pulls on the end of um, drawstring. So if I bring you the show you the Vivian one again, I use the squares that I cut out from this one to make the tabs on the ends, which is quite nice. It ties it all together then. I think that's some stationery. There's some packs of pens. There is a pack of crochet hooks. So the two missing are the ones I've put in project bags ready to go. There is a nice folder here. What is in this folder? Another book. It's like a marble marble fab marble type book folder there's a pink one and there are some pegs that are biscuits and cakes i'm kind of a stationary addict clearly because that's all i seem to find and i like the metallic look as well there's also a little pikachu so i need to find some find a home for him as well you can go with the other one. Where's the other one? Oh. Right, so we now have two empty shelves. You can see behind this is what was it at the last knit and stitching show? This one was from October, Ali Palo. And I won't go into that because I've already done a video on that. So let's put that to one side. That needs to be sorted out. That is pretty much everything yarn based. This one. I'll go through that in a little while. In the meantime, let's try and get these back in. And see how it goes. So, how do I do this? Should we put the yarn bowl back on the middle? That one's there. Because I meant to use that one to turn my hook around. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we have a little yarn bowl here. We can get back on there. Let's put in this side. I have my care bed sit at the back. Let's put that one in there. Let's put Vivian down the bottom because that is the honey cardigan. I'm not even sure I like the honey cardigan but I'm going to try it and see how we get on or was that the honey cardigan I can't even remember now that's the honey cardigan that is the dragon keeper gloves my yarn from Plackton does that fit in there no it doesn't Let's put that down there for now between the lines shawl can go in there that's my Uruguay one. That one should be. That's my something to learn this year. Look at my little bag of bits and bobs. Crochet hooks can go down the bottom. There we go. It's getting better. Pattern that can go there as well. I do have like a little folder, I'm sure, somewhere that I can put patterns in, but I don't know where it is right this minute. Um, that's all that needs to go back on there. Oh, these do. These are my little kits. So those can go at the top. Something I need to do pretty soonish. That one can go in there as well, just for now. So that's already looking a lot better. I'm quite pleased. Um, all the stationery stuff can go elsewhere. That needs to get to work. Yep, the rest of it belongs elsewhere. It doesn't belong on here. So what's next i'm just going to spin around a little bit because we're going to tackle this bit here now this one that i moved earlier has actually got all my crystals in from my crystal advent so that needs to find a proper home not just sitting on the sofa and i also moved this one out of the way i bought this um just before or just after christmas it's something for me it is a made by penguins um it's kind of like a little set so the yarn actually goes together um, and I got to meet 
see them at the Wolf and Wall show as well. So we've got this really beautiful slightly mottled blue and that is called Ice Ice Baby. And then there's a pack of minis to go with it in greys and blues. I'm pretty sure I've got another pack similar but it's greens. So that is nice set and there was a stitch mark set of stitch markers that go with it little snowflakes and blue beads so that needs to be used or found a proper home for and i've got these magazines now i signed up to this when i went to pure i think it was pure it was a few years ago i think i went to pure when i was at university still doing my teaching degree and these are free so i'm not paying for them anyway but i don't read them I'm tempted to just take them to work so we can use them for collaging and mood boards and things and cut them up. So that's what those are going to go to. There's an intuition magazine here which is for teachers so I need to actually read that. And a craft focus magazine. Again this is free. But I don't read them. I don't even know what month these are from. CHSI stitches. That's actually on at um, in the NEC in Birmingham. Yeah, you need to find something to do with those. I just find lots of magazines and they just sit and do absolutely nothing. So I've got this bag. This is another project bag. This is also from, this one's from like uh, Hobbycraft. So it's just a drawstring with a handle on the side. The idea was I was going to embroider it or print onto it. And this has got a kit in here for um, some wrist warmers. And that is an Aldi kit. A friend of mine is going to help me um, learn to stitch or to knit with multiple threads. So changing colours a lot. And um, the idea is that I want to learn how to do feral, but I haven't done stranded work yet. So this was my suggestion, I guess, as to um, actually doing that. So that needs to go on here as well, because that is a project. That one in there. Yeah. We have another Pikachu one. This is a bigger version that are a scent. What is in here? Little balls of cotton yarn. Now this comes from the Big and Little Crochet subscription. It's the only subscription I now have because the books are like little magazines um, and they're properly bound. So and each time you get a small skein of cotton yarn. So this has now been filled up with those. Um, the idea was that you're supposed to use them to make little hexagons each month and then you put them all together to make a blanket and if I did that it was going to be giant because there's loads of books so that is yarn that needs to go there I have I think there's another magazine in here this is my block craft bag I got this at one of the shows um, when I bought a printing kit I have my journal that I started last year and got to April that's April and then even though I decorated it I didn't actually fill it in for the majority of April and then you have May and June do I just start again do I just bin it what do I do with that answers on a postcard and then there is, I think it's a sewing magazine. Yep. Simply sewing. Issue 56. When was issue 56? I don't know. It's a nice project though. May have to sit and do those. And then there is a bag of confetti. Because in some of my parcels that I get from um, in the exchange group, they like to bombard you with glitter and sequins and just confetti in general. And it's really fun, but it means you've got to then clear it up. So I have an empty bag now. And I think the dye comes off of it, which is why it doesn't really need to be anything else. Um, I then got a, another journal book. This one is actually got my notes from my photography course that matches the folder, which is why I've got the folder to match it. Sewing magazine, sewing magazine, 
Molly Makes magazine. This one actually has the weaving loom with it. So I've obviously put it there because that's what I want to do. So that can go on the sofa. They can go with the other magazine. I then have this big project bag I made here. It's like a giant bucket. And this actually belongs to Claire at Beautiful Things. So that can go back to her. Because I now have this giant bucket. In here I have a bag. I'm going to cover up the word because it's rude. It is a project, little mini project bag or notions bag. And inside is a little pin badge which says I made it myself. It looks like a mannequin. There's a knitting ball. My camera doesn't focus very well on these because they're shiny. And then this one has the same thing but as a badge. So that's what's on the bag, little project bag. I've got a pom-pom hat kit from Aldi. I've wound the Aran balls that I got for my poncho, which are now being used to make this knitted cowl, which is a pattern by Carol at Beautiful Things. And there's my pattern. That needs to be worked on. And then inside I've also got my notebook for my temperature blanket and my temperature blanket. I don't know if there's any wall at the bottom though for it. Possibly. Yes. There are some balls at the bottom for it. So that is what I should be working on. But apparently I'm not. So that can all go back in there. Those are the things that need to be done. That doesn't need to be done yet. Let's put that somewhere else. Put that under there for now. So that lives next to my sofa with the idea that I will sit and work on it each night. Clearly that's not the case because I'm too tired at the moment. So moving forward. There's that one. There's a tough book. And it comes in a bag. Which is quite sweet. So I bought Edward's Menagerie because I wanted to do the panda. Um, I don't think the panda is in the book. You have to then, it gets sent to you and you download it, which I think I've done. Yeah, Susie's not in this book, um, which I've done. But you needed to buy the book in order to get the pattern for Susie because she's a bonus pattern. So that is all that is in that bag. Maybe I just need to put the top stuff in this bag so it's all together. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. So, hook, yarn. I think the balls were on offer as well and you had to buy three or something to get um, them a little bit cheap, cheaper. So, that's my tough project. That's already there, ready to go. There's also another Craft Focus magazine. There is... Snuggle and Play Crochet. I think Emma bought me that. Um, it's a really cute kids crochet book. Some little nice nice projects there for kids and babies. And then I've got some tangle books, some Zen tangle books. Stuff down the side because I did a Zen tangle course, uh, class at Beautiful Things. Um, when was it? Before Christmas? Must have been before Christmas. And um, I took them with me to give me a few more ideas. There's a load of, I've got a load of jiffy bags. Now these all have items in them, like some notebooks that I've printed ages ago, ages ago. They are random acts of kindness that I haven't posted out yet. If you'd like a random act of kindness, I know it's meant to be random, but oh well, um, pop a comment in the box below and I'll pick one at random and I'll send you one because there's quite a few back there. Positivity. Ooh. Right, I then have these stuff down the side. These are metal rings. And the idea is I'm going to make some macrame pieces with these. I've bought some macrame cord. Oh, that's it. Those ones are all separate. I bought those as a set on their own 
and then I bought these from Amazon because there was more in them uh, just to see what they're like and I haven't dug out the macrame yarn yet I need to find that I can't remember where I put it so that's on my list of things to do that can go with this week's stuff things to do this week another notebook again this one's still empty this one is also empty but this one's now gold these i believe are also empty no that one's not empty that one's got budget in it which I clearly haven't kept up with that one's empty and then this one i love this one because it reminds me of honeybees or honeycomb that's empty this one is for me to practice my doodling and my um calligraphy with it's just a black book with black pages and i've got an old zentangle piece i did quite a while ago stuck in the just laying in the back and then i've got the magazines that i'm hoping to practice in this book so these are lettering simply lettering they all come with something different so that one's got pencil and a pencil case this one has some gel pens um oh no chalk and a white pen then this one's got metallic gold and silver and then this one i believe has got yeah it's got templates and things in the back as opposed to equipment so that's a nice project for me to be working on there's a to-do list things i haven't done obviously that's now ready to be used again then i've got a lego bag filled with writing kits letter writing sets you know when you get a folder oh no it's not it's something completely different it's got more books told you i have a stationery issue Ooh la la must have been on sale my little pony i must have bought that from my for emma's daughter i've got two of these ones see two and i've got two of these ones hopes dreams and wishes so let's find somewhere for those i've obviously bought them as gifts but not decided who to gift them to yet an empty bag i like this it's making me feel better i'm tidying up and um, what is this this i believe is clearly a gift from one of the magazines how do i open this i think it's a knitting or hook roll yeah so it's got little slots to put your hooks and then you just roll it up and tie it up so that needs to be used Look at that, I'll find I'll put those hooks in there in a little while. What have I got? 2019 Advent Hand Dyed Yarn. That was the label for my advent calendar. What are these? That was for the sparkle yarn that I had that teeny tiny bit of. That's what I cut off because I decided I wasn't going to use that anymore. So that can go in the bin. Baz Arts Index. Um, I think I picked that up because I wanted to have a look at what it does and maybe sign up to it. So we shall see. Um, what is that? That's an old Vodafone phone. I don't need that. Anyone want an old Vodafone phone? No. That's how old it is. It's got buttons and it slides. I've never even used it. It's not mine. Somebody gave it to me. There is a yarn cake. Ooh, I know what can go in this yarn bowl now. This one, my Batik Swell. So that will fit. That's what it's made for. Giant yarn cake. There we go. This one is going to be another Franz shawl. But I can't remember if I wanted to start it in white or pink. I think I started it, wanted to start it in pink. That's why I pulled the middle out. So, that's going to be a Franz shawl. This is my Granny Rocks jumper in another one of these bags. This is a red one, although it looks pink on the camera. And I've only got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six rows in. I've done the ribbon at the bottom 
and I've done six rows. I've got two yarn cakes in here from Lollies in the black and white, and then I've got the metallic pink, which is from Poundland. That is the Iron Lamb Granny Box Jumper. So that is a project I should be working on as well because I've obviously started it. Let's put that one there, that one in there. It's filling up again very quickly. There is Crystal Grids, which I wanted to try. I haven't had time. And there's loads of magazines down there as well. What is that? That is Ada Fabric for my cross stitch. Class. that needs to go with the threads there's another notebook this I believe is also empty yep that matches the book the other book that I've got there's loads of magazines down here as well I'm not going to get them all up because that would be depressing um, and then this <laughs> that is actually a cushion cover with a panda on it and if I pull it I think the other bag's going to fall down this has got sewing magazines in and some more pens and stationery clearly don't need any more stationery those are magazines that I need to sit down and actually read they can stay there this has I believe the yarn in it there's my sleepy panda the yarn in it for my temperature blanket yes I'm hiding yarn now because it doesn't fit in my stash. Um, it is rammed full of all the yarn for my temperature blanket, all the cottons that I need. So, you may have noticed there's a Pokemon bag in the back. That has a blue C2C blanket in it, made of squares that I need to actually sew together. I need to board them first. I believe that one has just yarn in it i can't remember i'll have to dig those out another day because i don't have time right now and the one at the top has a shawl pattern in it and the yarn ready to go for um i can't remember what it's called i got it from sconch though um in braintree so i'll have to find a link for that for you um yeah it this looks a little bit more tidier but i've now got a load of stuff i need to sort out so wish me luck if you would like any more information i'm going to put put all of the patterns links in the comments below for you um but yeah let me know what i can do with free skeins 300 grams of dk yarn that isn't a shawl or a scarf or a hat um that i can do with those and keep nagging me if i don't show you updates of any of this what's the point of it being here so this is to make sure I actually start getting on with it. The aim is to try and get some of these actually done this year. Because I started the Between the Lines show two years ago. And it's still not even halfway. Maybe because it needs brain power to actually do it. I don't really know. Anyway. You may have enjoyed that. You may not have enjoyed that. But I've now made a mess. I need to tidy up and yeah let me know if yours is like this it's too much too much far too much i haven't even shown you my actual yarn stash purely because i can't get to it it's at the other end of my room um yeah maybe you've enjoyed that maybe you haven't let me know in the comments um let me know what project you're actually excited to see finished i guess or see progress on and I will try and make sure that I'm actually working on them and give you some updates. So I will see you later. I hope you've enjoyed this Whip Wednesday. <laughs> uh, bye for now. <laughs> see you later.